our final award is always keenly contested and eagerly awaited. The technical term is serial drama. The popular term is soap. They say that if Shakespeare were alive today, he'd be writing for the soaps. But would even the bard survive in this most competitive of worlds? Leave it, Phil. Tis not worth it. And verily, we've all had a drink. These are the shows that have had us watching in our tens of millions week in, week out. They inspire incredible quality, and it's easy to see why. They tackle issues that touch on all our lives and turn some of them into the most exciting drama on television. The focal point for nearly all serial dramas is the pub. So who better to present the award than a man who'd be equally at home behind the bar, the Rovers, the Vic, the Woolpack, or the Doll? Last Saturday, he scored a massive hit in another audience with, here's the pub landlord, Mr. Al Murray. So we've got to crack on. The nominations in the category of most popular serial drama, so are Emma Dale, EastEnders, Ollie Oaks. And of course, Coronation Street. <laughs> hey, the National Television Award goes to EastEnders. <laughs> everybody my goodness me what can I say the soaps as usual has been absolutely fantastic Coronation Street Holly Hoax and Emmerdale congratulations you know what we think about you know we know we think you're all wonderful I'd like to thank everybody behind the camera in front of the camera our writers our head of drama John York and we have a very special new governor He's a very handsome executive <laughs> producer, isn't he? Any girls? Deirdre, where are you? Come on, darling. Look. Come on, sweetie. What a way to start your year, eh, darling? But you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for voting for us. We love you all very much. God bless you. Take care. God bless. That's it for this year, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to all our winners. Thanks to everyone here this evening, our nominees, our award presenters, and of course, to our audience. But most of all, thanks to you at home for watching and for voting. Now, in just a moment, Jack and Kelly Osborne offer their own take on tonight's ceremony in backstage exclusive. That's over on ITV2. But now, from all of us here at the Royal Albert Hall, good night, and don't forget to keep watching now. Good night.
Well, as Sir Trevor said, Jack and Kelly Osborne are sharing a bevy with the stars at the TV Awards after party over on ITV2 now. Well, on ITV4, time for a bit of Halloween horror in perhaps the scariest film of all time. Jack Nicholson stars in The Shining.